last seen struggling to swim in the Cumberland River. Today, crews looked for him for more than seven hours. Jorlin Bukovac has an update on this missing person case we've been following all week long. Metro police say they believe 28-year-old Dakota Bingham was the person in the Cumberland River struggling to stay afloat. This was seen on surveillance footage taken around midnight on Monday. And there was some video that was recovered from a nearby business that showed a person that was inside the water, uh, kind of treading the water at one point in time and then beginning to float on their back and kind of dog pedal. Um, but you can see um, the video appears to show that the current was kind of uh, dragging that person away, even though they were attempting to swim in the opposite direction. And then you lose sight of the person. Metro police searched by air Wednesday night and the Nashville Office of Emergency Management continued the search Thursday morning using sonar equipment on the east bank of the river. Kendra Loney from the Office of Emergency Management is out with the team as they continue to search. The sonar is limited in its imaging. So since about uh, noon or so, they have been using an ROV, which is an underwater remotely operated vehicle um, that can go down under the water and actually uh, locate an image or define an image uh, more clearly. Loney says this will help the team decide whether to send a diver in the area if the weather conditions are safe. Bingham's friends tell News 4 they will search the banks and nearby dams trying to find him. Safety officials just ask everyone to stay out of the water since the current is strong. Up until this point, we have had numerous people attempt to come to the scene. We've even had numerous people attempt to get into the river. That is extremely dangerous. If Dakota is not found, crews will continue to search for him on Saturday since it's a post storm on Friday. Bingham's friends tell me they're going to search by boat this weekend to bring him home. Joy Lynn Bukovac, News 4 Nashville.